What's up guys, in today's video, I'll be going over my new SEO blog post writing workflow using GPT-4 Turbo. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did was I prompted the system. So once you give more instructions into the system, it allows you to get much better outputs. And I gave the AI some specific SEO writing tips that I wanted to follow. So I told it to do competitor research, to use Google Trends, to optimize the title and made a description. And I also gave it specific instructions on how to actually write SEO content. So I told it what SEO writing is, how and what are the best practices when it comes to SEO writing. So that is the prompts for the system. And again, this is also going to be in the document for the prompts, which will be in the description. I then prompted the AI to generate the outline. I told it to write an in-depth and comprehensive outline about the topic, which is how to grow your online business in 2023 using AI. And as you can see, I am using the GPT-4 um, Turbo model. If you want to get access to this model, all you have to do is apply for the API, and then you can head over to the playground mode. I am using the chat feature, and this allows you to write very in-depth, very high quality content, and also get a preview of GPT-4 Turbo. I've left my temperature to about 0.6. I think that's um, you can kind of play around with the setting and maximum length is going to be 16 right now because we don't really need to generate that much content because it is an outline. So once the AI was able to generate my outline, as you can see, it did a pretty good job. It's talking about what the importance of AI is in business, the introduction to key waste that can help businesses expand in 2023, understanding AI, AI driven marketing practices, boosting sales with AI technology, innovating products with AI, AI in human resources and talent management, navigating the challenges of AI adoption and preparing for the future. So a pretty in-depth um, outline, I would say for sure. Once we had the outline written, I then went ahead and prompted the AI to generate the full article using my typical SEO prompts. I told it to write the full article, include a table of contents, list, um, tables, charts, and etc. I also told it to write these sections individually, starting with the introduction, and then I will tell you when to move on. So this is the table of contents, and then we have the first section, which is understanding AI and its business impact on growth. And if we scroll down, once it finished that first section, right, so this is the first section of the outline, then I um, had to indicate and tell it to continue writing the second section. Sorry guys, it looks a little bit weird on my screen, but I hope you can understand and follow along. And then once I hit continue, it will continue writing from where it picked off. So I'm just gonna repeat this process until the full article is finished, but I really like prompting it to write section by section because as you can see, it's much more in depth, right? It's able to write more in depth content and it's able to um, just be able to include much more information for those specific sections. I've tested it before when I've told it to write the full article. Sometimes you're not able to get um, as detailed article as you're able to get when you tell it to prompt section by section. It does take a little bit longer, that's for sure, but your outputs are a lot better, so it's definitely worth it. So I'm just going to continue until this article is finished, and then we'll take a look at the full article once it's completed. Okay, so the full article has been completed, and honestly, this is a very, very long, in-depth, but a very high-quality article. I would guesstimate that this is probably around 2,000 words, but let's go ahead and copy each section, and we'll convert it into HTML. Okay, so this is the full article, and again, as you can see here, the table of contents is working, so that is a really, really good sign. But this is the full article, and as you can see, it is really, really well done. It's very in-depth. It is very comprehensive in the content that it's writing about in relation to the actual topic. And as you can see, it's bolded in some of the words. It's added lists. There's even tables in this article. There's, I believe, case studies as well. There's quotes, and these are case studies of actual um, uses that are relevant to this specific article. So. This is a very, very high quality article, and I think a better article that you can get from a human writer. So GPT-4 Turbo is definitely, definitely better than GPT-4. This is really, really exciting for online publishers and blog post writers because now you can write much longer content, it's much more higher quality, and you can also write on information past 2023. So this opens a whole host of opportunities and new topics that you can write about using AI. In terms of word count, this article is 3,400 words, which is absolutely amazing. And this article probably costed me less than $1. Let's test how SEO optimized this article was. So I've pasted in the article into New Writer, and I'm also going to add in the title and the meta description. But just by pasting in the content, we already have a score of 55. That is really, really good. So let's add the title and the description and see what our content optimization score will be. 
when we updated the title and animator description, we jumped all the way up to a 76 in terms of content optimization. That is really, really good. We didn't do any further optimizations. All we did was we entered the content and we entered the title and the made a description. So if we actually went ahead and did some manual optimization, especially to our H1 header, I'm sure we can hit 80 plus. By adding in the keywords artificial intelligence and business growth in 2023, we were able to hit that 80 mark. But again, that's the only manual optimizations that we had to do. We already had a score of 75 without doing any optimization. So I think I've sold you on how good GPT-4 Turbo is. I highly recommend that you give it a try. If you haven't used it already, check it out. And if you want to use my prompts, I'll leave a link for those prompts in the description below. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.